Today we're checking out Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 Teaser Trailer Number 2. Sorry, ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Wolf is not too scary. Oh, look at that. Whoa. What's that? Mommy Long Legs in the background? What? Everything's on fire. It is scary. What? What's going on in the play care? Somebody call 911. Hurry. Whoa. Dark hallway. I don't like dark hallways. I don't like spiders. I don't like spiders either. Oh. oh. Huggy. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, this is legit scary. Well, what is what is going on? What's behind the picture though? Time for bed. I'm not tired. This is a creepy house, bro. Look, there's oh. like claw marks on the wall. I don't like that. Is that Wolverine? Oh, there's an old phone. Oh, someone tried to call 911, but they didn't get to it in time. <laughs> What's all that stuff on the floor? It looks like ink. Ooh. And there's like claw marks. Look, there's stuff on the wall. What? It, it says stuff. What's it say? I live to serve what? Angel salvation. Salvation. What in the world is going on here? I bet it's that prototype thing. Ew! Whoa! What? Is that Poppy? I can't tell what that is. What in the world? Never forget the hour of joy. It's a claw, bro. I don't like claws. <laughs> ah. Oh, it's just eyes. I mean, I wasn't scared. Whatever, bro. What was it? No kung fu. What's, what's that in the middle? I don't know. I'm oh, trying. To... It's breathing. Don't look at it. I, I can't help. Look away! <laughs> A mustache. I don't know what that was. It was scary. Chapter three, deep sleep. I'm not tired. <laughs> I almost fainted. I don't want to faint, Captain. Winter of 2023. Ooh. Really that long? Is there more? That's it? Really? That's it. I want to see more, bro. This guy made a video about 10 secrets that we missed in Poppy Playtime 3. So let's check it out. All right, let's go through these fast because there's so right. many I want to talk about. And let's number see. one, we've got the secret image. The literal first frame of the trailer. There's a secret image hiding in there. Yeah, it's what is this and image? It's a little bit distorted. But one thing you can make out is the gas mask. In the mm. teaser trailer oh, number is. one, that's when we first saw the gas mask. So we know it's a symbol of chapter three. With its purpose not fully found out yet. But, but what there's we more need to for? this image than meets the eye. Mm. There's actually scattered letters all over the place. And in the short time that the trailer's been out, there's already been some theories on what those letters make up. The best Whoa. one I've seen is if you follow the letters in a zigzag, down and up, down and uh -huh. up, that creates the word spectrimitus. When How? translated from Latin to English, makes ghostly. Now Whoa. I've got a million theories That's on crazy. what that could possibly what? mean for the chapter. But we've got more secrets to talk about, so on to detail number two, the decapitation right. ritual. You would have probably yeah. noticed that you saw none of the mascots or even toys with heads in this trailer. They were all gone. Like they're all, all headless. Oh off. my even goodness. The stickers that are that on is true. Portraits, they're all missing their heads. Why? I this is part of some ritual that the monster of this chapter is Forming. I mean, the only time we see a hit is this one impaled on a stick. They talked about Our rituals. Boy, got done mm -hmm. dirty. But they even did it to a mascot that we haven't even seen before. When we see this toy huggy right at the beginning, there's also this teddy bear over here. Poor obviously teddy. with no head. And then we also see this Tay toy on the stickers that. with no head as well. From what I can see is this little puppy guy. You know, the one we see on the posters in Project Playtime. Aww, in so a cute. weird way, they've introduced a new mascot to us and also shown how they're going to be treated. But it's clear and that anything mascot gone. related is going to get its head ripped off. Anyway, on to detail number oh three. Oh my god. Maybe they're jealous or something. Now, some people may think that this monster is the protector of the children in the play care. But based on some of these drawings and photos, you can see that the children are actually already in a state of despair. Oh, that is true. I mean, look at the black yeah, circles under this kid's eyes. At all. And then this drawing saying he gives me nightmares. Yeah, who is he? The monster of this chapter. That Whatever's thing? happening, these orphans Whatever that are being thing tormented, is definitely no and their protector. photos and pictures are what. crying out for help. Anyway, on to detail number four. You're talking all about the angels. on the walls from the monster. Based on these angels messages on the wall, we can too. see that the monster is obsessed with the prototype. Our biggest clue coming from this writing on the wall. The original saved me. The original referring to the prototype being the original mascot. Ooh, and oh. I rejoice in him. Obviously meaning that he puts full faith in the prototype. Proving that the big brains behind all of this is still the prototype. We're also given a clue right at the end of the oh, scene. Where wow. we can see a claw hand of the monster scratching on the wall. Ooh. Proving that these scratch marks are made by no one else other than the monster. Anyway, it was a monster. Number five, that's mm -hmm. not the prototype. This scene over here shows an prototype? amalgamation of things. It's clearly an effigy of some kind. And we've already talked about the ritual There's a whole bunch of things mixed of together. trailer. And the monster's obsession what with the, the prototype. So this is just a symbol or icon showing what the prototype might look like created by the monster. And it kind of looks like Poppy. the outlines of heads from the decapitation you ritual. Think it's I believe this it looks is like some sort of offering that the monster is creating for know. the prototype. It's clear this is also meant to be a representation of the prototype because That's of what we know of it so far. <laughs> yeah. Remember Mommy Longlegs? He'll make me part of him. We know that the prototype is an amalgamation of things, especially mascots. So the monster that's doing its bidding is trying to oh. help it. And what better way to help it than to rip apart other mascots and give it to him. And this effigy oh. is a representation so of bad. those things Seriously? 
but it gives us a pretty good indication of what the prototype will actually look Maybe like. Maybe they're in gonna the try end. rebuild oh, online. Good junk. Anyway, on to detail number six. Remember the writing on the wall by the monster? There was one word that made absolutely no sense. Well, it made sense, but not a lot of people knew what it meant. What Somniferous. Is it? What does which that mean? Means to induce sleep. So now when oh, we look sleep? at my somniferous flock, kind of like my sleepy flock. Now I've theorized about this time and time again, but they I believe the sleep. red gas has something uh, to do with the, the flock deep, of deep children sleep. going to sleep. It's a yeah. sleeping gas. And that's why we'll need the gas mask so that we don't fall asleep when traversing through the gas. But honestly, this is just a segue onto the next detail. Oh, so detail number seven, sleep. the monster makes the gas. This blew my he mind. He is the gas, We've man. We've done oh. so much theorizing over the past year on what the red gas is, where it comes, it comes from, from, what him. it does. And I think we know all of those things so except he blows for one it thing. Out. Who's Maybe. producing it? And now we have the answer. And it's the kids the monster. wear the mask. Instead of a dragon that breathes out fire, it breathes out the red poppy gas. It's that a myth that it uses to put the children to sleep that it's taken care of in play care. And that's how it dominates control of this location. I think originally this monster was someone that worked in play care. As part of working in play hmm. care, there was yeah, bedtime for children. I see that. And the play care attendants would try and put the children to sleep. This person that may have now become this monster has materialized his own power to now put the children to sleep. But it's just in the form of breathing out the red poppy gas, which is mm. a reference to the my somniferous flock sentence we saw before. God Very damn, smart. it's all coming together. This is so <laughs> crazy. And this is another Let's segue on to the next detail. Ah, detail number eight, the hour of joy. Every time. We see here, never forget the hour of joy. And what is the hour of joy? Teaser, uh -huh. Rejoice in the hour of joy. What could uh -huh. this reference to the hour of joy possibly mean? Maybe with the I monster think I have asleep. a feeling I know what it is. I think it's nap time. Ah, <laughs> I think once no, a day, there's time. an hour of joy where the children have to go to sleep. And now that nap time comes from the monster, which puts them to sleep using the red gas. And I have a feeling if you're not asleep in that hour of joy, you die. <gasps> Other than what? that, I have no idea I what that could possibly that. mean. So nap time it's is a forced. really important detail for chapter three and we'll only find out when it comes out. But if I'm right, you all owe me a dollar. Anyway, on the detail <laughs> number nine, the monster is a swivel moon. <laughs> Remember PJ Pugapillar? It was two animals mashed together. A what? I have a feeling this monster is going to be two animals mashed together as well. We've seen so many mm, signs that it's a bird-like mm. monster. You can see wings in the pictures. You can see claws over here. And then we see its face. I'm not going to lie. This kind of looks like PJ Pugapillar's oh, face mouth. I thought well. that was a but, mustache. You know, less details. But it definitely doesn't look like a bird's face. So whatever it is, it's going to be a mixture Counts of two like things. One thing's for Ooh. sure the mixture is going to make a terrifying creature, but I have a big feeling that the majority of the monster is going to be bird-like. And I don't think bird -like. the face is actually going to be PJ Pugapillar, but it's going to follow that same level of eeriness that, that he has. That me so bad. I mean, what do you think is going to be? We kind of just see its face, but not really. Anyway, it might be like a mixture of 10, a bunch of different things. In the last <laughs> frame of the trailer, you see this very faintly. Poppyplaytime.org. Yeah, Go to poppyplaytime.org and it takes you to this screen. And guess what? You get <gasps> given the password to log in as well. What? Once you log in, it looks like an old Windows XP computer. What? And you're able to click on some of these things. It's so you crazy. You can't get far without some more passwords. And Leith Pierre's password doesn't work further than this. Shut so that down, shut that down. Just follow Sheep right. Rampage for this one. He's going to dive deep into the stuff and he's so good at it. Personally, I'm a big fan of his. And if you're a fan of mine, show some love for Sheep Rampage in the comments below. Because Definitely. I'm going to be watching closely Ooh. to see what this ARG means because I know I can't figure it out. Anyway, see you later, everybody. And here's a reminder, face reveal soon at 1 million. Goodbye. There was definitely a lot of things in there that we missed. So I'm glad we watched that video. Me too. Now I can't wait for the game to come out. When the game comes out, I'm going to be full scare mode.